Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, PEBC Drive. In this session, I am going to explain you, functions of, cardiovascular center, and, rhythmicity area, of medulla. Now, let's move on to the nuclei present in the medulla. Remember, nuclei is plural form, singular is, nucleus, and nucleus is cluster of neuronal cell bodies, present in the CNS. When this cluster is present outside the CNS, it's known as ganglion. So cluster of cell bodies in CNS is known as, nucleus. And, cluster of cell bodies present outside the CNS, or in PNs, is known as ganglion. Moving to medullary nuclei. The medulla also contains several nuclei. Some of these nuclei control vital body functions. Vital body functions are, heart rate, pulse rate, and rate of respiration. Examples of nuclei in the medulla, that regulate vital activities include, the cardiovascular center and, the medullary rhythmicity area. The cardiovascular center, regulates the rate and force of the heartbeat, and, the diameter of blood vessels. The medullary rhythmicity area of the respiratory center, adjusts the basic rhythm of breathing. Now, in image 1 we can see, baroreceptors present in arc of aorta and carotid sinus. Before moving to the function of cardiovascular centers, let's know exact location of baroreceptors in aorta. So, we already know that, aorta is one of the major blood vessel of our body. For sake of understanding, aorta can be divided into four sections. First is erotic root, second is ascending aorta, third is erotic arc and fourth is descending aorta. Now focusing on the third one, which is arc of aorta, it is further divided in three branches. First one is brachiocephalic artery which has two branches, right common carotid artery and right subclavian artery. Second is left common carotid artery and third is left subclavian artery. Now focusing on common carotid artery, both right and left, which further bifurcates in internal and external carotid artery. Just superior to this bifurcation, in the internal carotid artery, there is carotid sinus. So baroreceptor is present, in this carotid sinus, and also in arc of aorta. Now, moving back to image 1, to understand, functions of cardiovascular centers present in medulla. As per normal physiology, blood pressure stretches the wall of the arc of aorta and carotid sinus, which stimulates the baroreceptors. Nerve impulses from the baroreceptors reaches to cardiovascular center via sensory glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve. In response to that, cardiovascular centers will activate sympathetic or parasympathetic outflow to heart, and, spinal cord. So, when blood pressure rises, it stretches the aorta and carotid artery, which is sensed by baroreceptors, present in carotid sinus an erotic arch. In response, the basal rate of action potential generation is increased by baroreceptors, means more impulses are generated than regular. These impulses travel via sensory nerves to cardiovascular centers of medulla. These sensory nerves are sensory glossopharyngeal nerve, which is ninth cranial nerve, and sensory vagus nerve which is 10th cranial nerve. In response to these impulses from sensory nerves, the cardiovascular centers of medulla, increases parasympathetic flow to heart via motor vagus nerve, resulting in decrease in the heart rate. Also, baroreceptors decreases sympathetic stimulation to the heart, resulting in decreased heart rate, and, stroke volume. The vesomotor center present in medulla, decreases sympathetic stimulation in the blood vessels, causes vasodilation. Hence, this vasodilation, 
decreased heart rate and decreased stoke volume, brings the blood pressure to normal. Now, when blood pressure decreases from the normal value, the action of metallary center would be opposite. That is, increase in sympathetic flow. Now, moving on to image 2, which explains function of metallary rhythmicity area. So, as the name denotes, metallary rhythmicity area, adjusts basic rhythm of breathing. Here, you can see, the metallary rhythmicity area contains, inspiratory area, and, expiratory area, which ultimately controls our rhythm of breathing. In forced breathing, the inspiratory area sends impulses to accessory inspiratory muscles, resulting in a more forceful inspiration. The inspiration area also activates the expiratory area during the expiration portion of the cycle. The expiratory area then sends impulses to expiration muscles, which consist of internal intercostals and abdominal muscles. These impulses cause the expiration muscles to contract, and this results in a forceful expiration. For more amazing videos, kindly subscribe our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you.